Hey everyone! Recently I was working on this tiny world with trees, and I wanted all the instance trees to be placed randomly and inherit rotation from the tiny world's normals. Which was actually pretty simple with geometry nodes, so let's take a look at how to set it up. I'm just going to make a tree real quick. The most important part here is just being mindful of where your object's origin is located, since the object origin will line up with the geometry node points when instanced. I placed mine right in the middle of my tree trunk. For the world sphere, I'm just going to subdivide the default cube. All these little lines are the direction of our normals. Ideally, this is the way we'll have our trees point. Let's switch over to the geometry node editor, and add an instance on points and a join geometry node. Now shift drag the tree object into the editor and connect it to the instance on points node. My tree is a little bigger than I want, so I'm just going to scale down the object rather than scale it down in the geometry node editor, but either way works just fine. I noticed my origin shifted a bit, so I'm just going to line it back up in the tree trunk. Well, clearly there is a tree instanced on every point of our object, but we still need to get them aligned with the normals, which is pretty simple. Add an align Euler to vector node, which we've been using a lot lately, and connect these two rotation sockets up. Man, something's kinda happening, but we still need to add our object's normals, which we can get from a normal node. Connect it to the vector socket, and it's working, sort of. Currently the x-axis is being aligned to the normal, but we want the z-axis, which we can choose here. And there we go, Hyper Spike Ball achieved! I'm gonna make this look a little bit more like trees by adding some color, and we can go a step further and make this a little more interesting by distributing the trees randomly. So let's add a Distribute Points on Faces node here, and tidy these nodes up a little bit, then connect these rotation sockets up. Since the Distribute Points on Faces node has a normal output, we can get rid of this normal node entirely. And because I can't help myself and I'm incapable of stopping with a Noise Texture, Color Ramp, and Multiply node connected to the density of the Distribute Points on Faces node, you can control the density of your trees, and mm, that's nice. There are countless ways to use geometry nodes, and it's really fun to see what you can come up with. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed! Please like and subscribe! If you'd like to help the channel grow, share a video! We also have a Patreon! Thank you again! Stay safe! I love you all! Goodbye! Okay, goodbye.